Like every boy in Alvin, Texas, Nathan Avaldi grew up seeing the statue honoring that town's most famous citizen. Nathan was just two years old when Nolan Ryan was immortalized in bronze in his hometown. Like every boy in Alvin, Texas, Nathan dreamed of following in Nolan's footsteps. Like no other boy in Alvin, Texas since Nolan, Nathan did it. He took the monumental step from Alvin to the big leagues. 45 years after Big Tex debuted with the Mets, Nathan pitched his first game for the Dodgers. Armed with a wicked four-seam fastball, Nathan was an 11th round pick out of high school. He climbed through the Dodgers organization quickly. He made his major league debut just over three years after being drafted. He got a win against the Diamondbacks that day while striking out seven. He helped his own cause, too, as he singled and scored a run. The Nathan Eovaldi comes up with his first major league hit in his first major league at bat. The Dodgers traded him to the Marlins, where he spent a couple of years honing his craft and perfecting his four-pitch arsenal. He was traded to the Yankees for the 2015 season, and it was there that he developed a split-finger fastball. Strike three, 96 down the middle. Now he had five distinct pitches, and the results were almost immediate. From late June until late August, he was 8-0 with a 2.93 ERA. He finished the season 14-3, but his year ended when elbow inflammation shut him down. He started 2016 healthy, but a second Tommy John surgery was looming for Nathan. His first one came in high school. This one shut him down for nearly a year and a half and forced another change of scenery. On May 30th, 2018, a near 18 full months since his last big league start, Evaldi towed the rubber against the Oakland Athletics. He threw six no-hit innings against the A's, but was relieved due to pitch count considerations. Nathan was back, and later that summer, he was traded to Boston. It's definitely amazing. You know, everything that I've worked for and, you know, had to come back from, it's uh, nice to know that the hard work paid off. He got a win against the Yankees in Game 3 of the American League Division Series. And a swing and a miss. He also won Game 3 of the American League Championship Series against his former hometown team, the Astros. And he got him. Game 3 of the World Series was the longest game in the history of the Fall Classic. Nathan was scheduled to pitch game four, but was needed in the 18-inning marathon. He threw 97 pitches in relief over six innings, and despite the fact that the Dodgers won that game in walk-off fashion, Ivaldi got a standing ovation from his teammates when he entered the clubhouse. Besides, all's well that ends well. The Red Sox won the next two games and the 2018 World Series. After that, Boston signed him to a four-year contract, and he continued to shine. From the Boston Red Sox, Nathan Evaldi. He was named an American League All-Star in 2021. He has been the Red Sox opening day starter in each of the last three seasons. But now, he is a part of the Rangers' remade rotation. Nathan Evaldi is back where he belongs, back home in Texas.